welcome back to part two of my December daily mini album box with a journal. So today we're going to be making the journal and what you're going to need for the journal is you're going to need some 65 pound weight cardstock that measures seven and a half by 12 and you're going to need one that measures four and a half by six and a quarter. This is for the cover only. This is what we're walking walking through right now and then you're going to need two pieces of chipboard that measure four and a half by six and a half and you're going to need one that measures one and a half by six and a half you're going to need two pieces of the pattern paper that measure um one and a quarter by six and a quarter and what i did is technically um you are not, like this is only supposed to be six inch paper, but I found it's a little, it's fine with me and I just cut it so there's just a little bit of the white. If that's not okay with you, go ahead and cut your pieces like this out of the 12 by 12, but I don't mind that tiny bit of white because I do like the smaller patterns for the journal. So that's up to you. You're also going to need some elastic cording. I just got mine off of Amazon. Uh, yeah, just simple elastic cording. You're going to need a hole punch of some kind, a strong one. Uh, either your crocodile or this is the... I don't even know what this one's called. Oh, the Big Bite. This is the We Are Memory Keepers Big Bite. So this, you, either one of these or a crocodile or whatever really other strong hole punch you have because it's going to need to punch through the medium weight chipboard and through your cardstock and your pattern paper so quite a few layers this will do it like it's butter and then also you're going to need your wet glue so i'm using my art glitter glue you're going to need some scissors and then you're also going to need your six by six paper pad but that's later on well i guess you need it for this if you choose to use uh, the method that i'm using there all right, so let's get started with wrapping our cover or making our cover. I've already cut it down so this is going to fit perfectly just like that. So we only have a little bit of room top and bottom here because I didn't want to add on another piece of paper. So just be careful when you're placing it to leave yourself enough room top from the top and the sides. Okay, leave yourself about a half an inch. So I think what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to start with one of my larger pieces and then do my spine just to make sure I get it centered really good. So I've already covered the back with score tape. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and removed all the score tape. So now I'm going to go ahead and start over here on this side and just kind of nestle it in to the corner there just to make sure I'm giving myself enough room. And then I'm going to do my spine piece and I'm going to leave about an eighth of an inch of space there like so and then we will do the other side and again leave yourself about an eighth of an inch of space make sure you've got your spacing right before you drop it down all right and now we can go ahead and just fold over all of our pieces here So like I said, we don't have very much room, so I'm only going to add tape to the cardstock in this case. You can always connect more than one together and make it easier for yourself. I just thought this was actually the easier method 
for me for now. So I'm just going to add tape to the cardstock and even if it overlaps a little bit onto the chipboard, that doesn't bother me in this case. Now we've got our tape attached there. Now we're going to get our scissors and cut out the corners. So remember to stay at least an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch from the corner of your chipboard to where your cardstock starts. So just about like that and then you'll see when we fold it over we have a nice neat corner. Alright, so we've got them all cut off, so now we can start just gluing them down. And I'm going to start with my long sides first. So I'm just removing this tape and I'm going to fold it over and then just smooth it out to the edge. Always trying to press in as much as I can. And then I'm just going to give that a good burnish. And then we'll do our other long side. I think it's such a good idea to have a journal with a December daily. Especially if it's a smaller one like we're doing. Because there's always those extra memories, the cute things your kids say or that your pets do or anything like that. And I just think it's such a great idea to have another place to put those cute little memories or even just journal about gratefulness and thankfulness that you feel in the in the holiday season because I know I always feel extra emotional around Christmas especially where my little family's concerned so I definitely want a place to write about those things. Alright, so now we've got all our cardstock on. So now we're just gonna go in here with the flat edge of our bone folder and just break up those fibers a little bit and then we'll fold in and there's our cute little journal. So now we need to put the spine hider piece on and that piece again measures four and a half by six and a quarter. And I'm actually going to use my half inch score tape here, just so it goes a little bit faster. And we're just going to attach our score tape all over the inside of the spine, and then one strip on the outside of each one. And remember not to go all the way to top or bottom because our spine hider piece is only six and a quarter inches, so it's going to be an eighth of an inch smaller on top and bottom. So we're just trying to account for that. And then we're also going to put it all around the back of the spine hider piece, and then we'll remove all the backings. Alright, so I've removed all the backings from the back of my spine header piece and from the back of, or from the actual album. And now we're just going to go ahead and attach that down, centering it left to right and top and bottom, just like that. And then just go ahead and give it a good burnish. Never ever use less than try tested and true adhesives when you're putting together an album because most of the time you're either going to be using it for your family or giving it as a gift and either way you want it to be quality and you want it to last and using score tape to put together your albums is 
gonna ensure that it lasts and that you have excellent quality. All right, so now I'm just gonna kind of lift the edge of my book so I can find my crease there again using the back of my bone folder, not the tip, because it will pierce it. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side here and then just give it a bend up. And the same thing with this side. Just give it a nice bend up, just like that. So now our album base is basically completely done. So now we're going to add our little pieces of cardstock in here so that we can get our binding system in. I'm just going to erase my measurements here where they're not going to be covered. All right, so I'm just using my arc layer glue here and I'm just going to attach this piece in. So just go ahead and get your glue all over the back of that. So this is the same piece of cardstock, or sorry, the same piece of pattern paper that I'm gonna use for the inside of the spine and the outside of the spine because I really like it's a nice neutral pattern. Let's move it over a bit, get it more centered there. All right, and now we're gonna do the same thing on the outside, making sure to center it nicely in there. In this case, you could probably bend your book up so you can make sure that you're getting it nicely centered. Give it a good press down. Now we need to do our measuring. So we need to measure in half an inch from this side and half an inch from this side and then so we need to do that on the two sides and so top and bottom we need to do that so let's go ahead and so we're not measuring in from the edge of our pattern paper we're measuring in from the very edge of our spine creases okay because we know our spine our whole spine is an inch and a half so just go ahead and line it up as best as you can and make your mark half an inch on each side just like so all right and then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom just measure it nice and carefully half an inch from both sides and then I'm going to go ahead and just connect my lines all right and then just make my line all the way top and bottom and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side like so make the line and now we need to measure in and half an inch from the top on both of those lines. So measure in half an inch and just do a dot right where those would meet. All right, and then the same thing on the bottom here. Just do a dot where those would meet. All right, and then right where those are is where we're gonna punch our holes. So I've got my big old, uh, what was it called, big bite. 
So I'm going to use this smaller hole for this and it's the 1 8 size hole here. So you can see it's a smaller one down here. So I'm going to punch my holes. So just line them up. All right, so I've got my holes all punched, top and bottom. So I've got two at the top and two at the bottom. So now I'm just going to take my black elastic thread, string, cord, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to bring some through the back. And then I'm going to cut it off down here. And bring the rest through down here and then I will go ahead and tie my bow back here. I don't want to hide this binding because I like it's, it's kind of cute with the bow on the outside I think but I will link a different um, a different journal tutorial by got the bow where I want it. Still needs a little fiddling, but that's okay. So then I'm just gonna cut it off. So that looks pretty cute on the outside there, I think. So now I'm just gonna add the other string. All right, so I've added both my little strings on the outside and made my bows, and I'll, I'll make those neater and prettier after. But so now this is what we've got inside here, our two little sections for our, our inserts. So I'm gonna show you the first one, and then we're gonna do the second one together. So the first piece that's gonna go in looks like this. All right, and it is going to just slip right under these. And then next is just a piece of folded pattern paper from the collection, from the six by six pad, just like that. And then next is our copy paper. We'll go under just like this. And then next is another little file folder I did but just with the pattern paper. All right, and they're all just gonna be in here just like this, okay? But we're gonna do one together right away here. So that looks super cute in there. I really, really like that. So we will do the second one together now. So what you're gonna need for the second one, we're just gonna go step by step here. A piece of your 65 pound weight cardstock that measures eight by seven and a half. And on the eight inch side, you're gonna score four. And on the seven and a half side, you're gonna score at one and a half, okay? Then you are going to fold it in half, just like so. And then fold it up from the bottom. All right, and then from this line here in the middle on the bottom, I've already measured in a quarter inch on both sides. So from this line, a quarter inch this way, and from this line, a quarter inch that way. And so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut from this line down to this point and from this line down to this point. So just go ahead and cut down to there, just like that. And then from this side here, Cut down. This doesn't have to be super perfect or neat. All right, so I'm just going to clean that up. If I can get all the way in there. All right, and now we're just going to grab some of our pattern papers from the collection. So I've got four here, 
I think this one's gonna go on the front. And these papers are from the six by six pad. So these need to go in before we glue these up, okay? So these need to get glued in before we can glue these up, okay? So these pieces measure five and three quarters by three and three quarters. And we're just gonna use the our glitter glue again here to glue them in just like so and you can pick whichever patterns you like the best the 6x6 six six pad really is perfect for the journal because it's smaller and so it's perfect for matting the journal all right, and so that piece is just gonna go right there. And then you're gonna need some quarter inch score tape. So I'm just putting a little strip of it on the inside flap here that's gonna come up, because that's what's gonna close it up so that we can use it as a pocket. I'll just go ahead and give that a good press down. Then we'll remove the backing and bring it up. And we'll remove the backing from here and bring that up, just like so, okay? And now I'm again gonna erase my markings here because our papers aren't gonna cover it. So now you're gonna need two pieces of your pattern paper that measure one and a quarter by three and three quarters, and they're gonna go right here. So again, what we've done is we've measured in a quarter inch just from the one side here on both of these. So a quarter inch in from the edge, I've just made a little mark. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up from the bottom to my quarter inch line there. And then that's just gonna mat beautifully into there. So same thing with this one. And then that will mat just nicely right there. All right, so again, just grab your glue. And we will attach it right there. And then the other one here. So this is the outside cover of one of the signatures and you're gonna do the exact same thing just twice for the other one, for your other signature because they're identical in every way other than that. All right, so next would be, we will also cover the outsides but we'll, we can do that after. So next will be your piece that's just gonna go just slide right under so this is just a piece of the pattern paper from the collection. So it measures six inches by five and a quarter tall. And then I've just folded it in half. So that would go next in here. And then next you will need your copy paper. So I've got four sheets here of copy paper and I cut it down to five and a half by seven and a half. And on the seven and a half inch side, I just fold it in half. And you can cut and fold it all at the same time since it's just copy paper. So that's gonna go next. And then all the way on the inside, we have this piece here. So this piece measures six by six. So I just cut it down to six by six. And then, and this is also from the six by six paper pad. And then I just scored it at three inches here and then one, inches, one inch from the bottom here. If you do have a directional piece like this, then just make sure you're doing your three inch score line in the direction that you want going up and down, okay? So again, I've done the same thing here. I measured in a quarter inch from both sides of my line here, and I'm just gonna cut down to that point, and on this side, cut down to the point there, and then just take out my middle, and then I'm just gonna grab again my 
score tape here, my quarter inch score tape. And I'm just gonna put it right there. And right there. And then remove the backings. And then we will just bring it up, give it a press, bring it up, give it a press. My little guy has been in here with me and he loves to play with my bone folders. So I can never find them. Just give that a good press there and then that would go in the center section here. So let's just go ahead and pop our pattern paper on the front and back of this. So remember the pattern paper measures five and three quarters by three and three quarters. And my art glitter glue seems to be a little bit clogged up right now, that's okay. So I want this piece for the front of it, of my signature, like so. All right, and then this piece can go in the back. Get that glue all over it, if it'll come out for me. It's a little bit better. All right, let's get the glue on there. And then we'll just attach that to the back of our signature. get our little journal back in here. So remember this is going to go in first. So it's going to slide under there. And next will be just our plain pattern paper piece. And then our copy paper. And then finally our little smaller file folder in the middle. All right, that is so beautiful. These papers are just absolutely stunning. I just love them, love them, love them, love them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the pattern paper to the front and back and the inside it covers and they are going to measure, it's gonna measure four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put those on. I'm gonna choose one for here, one for here, and one for the front and back. And I am gonna use the uh, 12 by 12s for that. And then I'm gonna show you the closure. All right, so I've gone ahead and added the pattern paper to the inside front and back covers and the front and back covers of the journal. As you can tell, I'm absolutely obsessed with this pattern. All right, so for the closure, I'm gonna use this beautiful ribbon here. This it's kind of like a sheer with a white teeny tiny polka dot on it, and it is from the Country Craft Creations store. It comes in your Craftology kit. So I'm just gonna slip it right under my, uh, my binding back here, just like that. And I'm gonna bring it around to the front and make sure I have an equal length here. All right, and then I'm just going to tie it in a beautiful bow. Just like so. And this is gonna be my closure for the album. Super simple, super easy, obviously, absolutely stunning. This ribbon is just gorgeous and it goes so well with the beautiful papers. All right, and then we just need to cut it off where we want it. Just like so. And then I will probably still add some things to the front of the album. 
or sorry, the journal. I do think I want to use these beautiful flowers here on the journal and possibly um, something from here as well from the chipboard sticker pack because these are really, really gorgeous as well. So I might use some of these. Um, but basically, for right now, that is the end of the tutorial. So our little journal is just going to go right in here, snug as a bug in a rug. And it's going to close up and we're going to have our December daily over here on this side. And over here on this side you have that beautiful journal that you can use just to write down those extra little thoughts and extra little memories. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, your craftology box. And I am just super excited to have been uh, allowed this opportunity to design something with the craftology box for you guys. And I really hope you enjoyed this project. I really enjoyed making it. I think it would make an absolutely fantastic gift for anyone, even as a wedding album. If you did the album on this side and then had a little journal in the box on this side so that people could journal their thoughts and put their extra memories and then their wedding photos could be over here or birthdays or anniversaries or legitimately anything would be fantastic to have a journal as well just to put your thoughts. So again, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that and I hope you all have a wonderful day. You will see the finished project with all the little glitz and glam on it in the album walkthrough and I hope you'll join me for that. It'll be linked below this video. Alright, uh, so have a wonderful day.